Hi, I'm Dr. Ruby Payne, and we're doing a series with Emotional Poverty Book One. Emotional Poverty in All Demographics, How to Reduce Anger, Anxiety, and Violence in the Classroom. The book is basically a set of understandings and a set of strategies for you to use to more quickly deal with the issues, the emotional issues that surface in the classroom. Basically, emotional poverty is four things. It's when your brain is actually physically unregulated and unintegrated. It's when your inner self is weak. It's when your bonding and attachment is not secure. And it's when your environment thinks you feel that you're less than and separate from. One of the things for many educators is we simply have not been given virtually any training at all, unless you're in special education or you're in counseling, in emotional issues. So the book gives very basic understandings, and I'd like to give you a few of those as we begin. Number one, all emotional safety is based in two things, safety and belonging. When any human being gets upset, they believe they're not safe, or they don't belong. And on the basis of this, then, we build an emotional reality. The second thing to know is that your emotional self, your amygdala, is highly structured by the time you are three. It gets restructured in adolescence, but it gets structured before you have vocabulary. So you act on information you, you don't even know you have because it's in the subconscious and you had it before you had vocabulary. For example, how many of you have done something and then you said to yourself, oh no, that's my mother again, that's my father. Well, your amygdala kicked in. Another thing about emotions is that they are basically pretty simple. You're either moving towards something or you're moving away from it. Or you're attacking it to move it away from you. Okay, And so it is the basis then of I like it, I move, move toward it. I don't like it, I'm going to move away from it. I think I can be safe and belong here. I like that. I don't think I'm safe. I don't think I belong. I'm moving away. And emotions are fast. 200 to 5,000 times faster than thought. So many times with our students, the reaction is just so quick. It did not go through the cortex where the thoughts are. It went right down the spine. So as we look at this, there is a checklist as we begin this on page seven of your book. And I would recommend to you before we start the discussion that you look at this checklist, you think of a student you have that is a frequent flyer, you see them a lot, and do this checklist for them as a way to begin to understand how we will move through the information. I look forward to being with you for this series.